Let's look at some disturbing occurrences I have been reading about lately. These involve people getting into accidents on the freeway. The way this scene plays out is the first car strikes the victim's car. Both cars pull over to the side of the road. The victim gets out of the car to discuss the accident with the other driver. At this point, the other driver is belligerent and beats the victim to death. A thug in New York beat a woman to death in this manner. Then, as the criminal was driving away, her body became entangled under his car and he dragged her miles down the freeway. Men should also pay attention to these stories because it could very easily happen to anybody. This is not an isolated case. I have read many similar accounts. What would I do if I had an accident happen to me? Not all people who have accidents would attack you. Nevertheless, you should take precautions with all people. I would pull to the side of the road and leave the motor of my car running in case I had to drive away quickly. Then I would leave the car and drive and have my foot on the brake. Do this until you can at least see the other driver. I would want to see if he was angry. If he was not angry, I would put the car in drive but still leave the motor running. Next I would get my cell phone out and dial 911 but pause. If the other driver looked angry, I would press the send button. If I were a woman, I would probably call 911 as a precaution regardless of how he looked. I would tell the 911 operator my location, then proceed to tell her that I am involved in an accident and the other driver appeared to me to be angry. I would request the operator send help and give the operator the other driver's license plate number. My car doors remain locked, as is my normal procedure, and I would not open them. If the person were angry, I would drive off. If they were not angry, I would roll down the window of my car. Just roll it down two or three inches to talk to the person. You should probably count on dealing with the other driver on the right side of your car. They should not be standing out near the oncoming traffic. You could exchange your information, such as your driver's license and insurance, through this two or three inch opening in the window. It is unnecessary for you to get out of your car. If you did get out of your car, you are taking a chance that this person could become violent. From the moment the person left his car, I would want to try to keep as much visual contact with the person as possible. This would be done so I could make sure he was not producing a gun as he was walking up to my car. If I did see a gun, I would put the car in drive and take off fast. I would not let the other driver know I had a gun unless he started taking violent measures against me. This may be breaking the glass of my car. If that happened, I would first try to drive away. If I could not do that, and I could not escape any other way, I would have to defend myself. This defense may include shooting the attacker. You should consider this occurrence.